لا کی تلوار عرش کے اوپر سے چلی ہے عرش زیر و زبر عرش کے فرشتے زیر و زبر عرش کے نیچے زیر و زبر ستواں چھواں پنجواں چوتھا تریا دوا پہلا آسمان لا بد ہوا فضا خلا لا و زمین آسمان چند سورج تارے لا بد انسان جنات جن پرند چرند آبی خاکی ناری نوری ہوائی فضائی خلائی سب لا ہیں لا ہیں کوئی کچھ نہیں ہے کوئی کچھ نہیں ہے جو کچھ ہے وہ اللہ ہے جو کچھ ہے وہ اللہ ہے جو لا کہا وہ لا ہوا وہ لا بھی اس میں لا ہوا جز لا ہوا کل لا ہوا پھر لا ہوا اللہ ہوا So flipping the argument around, sometimes people tell you Allah is not on his throne, even until now, Muslims, they'll be amongst us, they pray with us, they say Allah is not on his throne. Now look how they make it sound respectful. If you say Allah is on his throne, you are physically limiting Allah. You see this word? It makes the Muslim guilty. You are physically limiting Allah if you say he's on his throne. Don't physically limit Allah. Where did you get this term from, physically limiting? And, but they just make you ashamed. Don't say Allah is on His throne. If you say that, you're physically limiting Him. But what's the flip side of that? The flip side is that He's physically everywhere. And these people until now, they never answer the question, is He in the bathroom? They stay quiet. Is He in the church? They stay quiet. Is He in other places that you, you wouldn't be caught dead in these places? They, they're quiet. Is He in the bar? They're quiet. So, if you don't want to say He's on His throne, and, and by the way, Allah said He's on His throne. Six times in the Quran. He's on Rahman al Arsh Stawa. He's on his throne. So if you if he's not on his throne, then the flip side of your argument is worse. He's everywhere. And that's why many Muslims historically have gone astray concerning this issue. And even wrote poetry saying in Wa'ani, Wamal Kalbu al Khanziru illa ilahuna and the, the dog and the pig is nothing but our our God. How can a Muslim say that? Could possibly could you believe a Muslim would say the dog and the pig is our God? You, you wouldn't believe that, right? But they did. Why? Because it started off with this concept. Initially trying to respect Allah, but the flip side of it was worse than what they were trying to avoid in the beginning. Because now, the pig takes up space, the dog takes up space, and if God is in everything, then He's inside. Allah is far removed from that. Then He's inside this space. And they said even the monk in the monastery is our God. One of them, instead of saying SubhanAllah, he said Subhani, Subhani. Because yeah. I'm God, God's in me. That's why a lot of these the deviant, these deviant groups, they respect and they treat people very nicely. Why? Not because of akhlaq, because God is in them. They believe that. They believe Allah is in you. So if I hit you, I'm hitting Him. So I have to be nice to you. That's why they're nice to people. So they got in more trouble by trying to avoid something simple. The flip side was worse here. Weak narrations fabricated, I mentioned that. Aqeedah issues. Fadail amal, fadail sabakat. Wallahi, these are not the kutub of Ahl-Sunnah wal Jama'ah. They're not the kutub of Ahl-Sunnah wal Jama'ah. They are Ash'ari Aqeedah. Ash'ari Aqeedah. That's very, very dangerous and very serious issue. If the Aqeedah is bad, don't ask about your Salah and Siyam because everything else is going to be pretty much bad. The most important thing is our belief system is understanding La ilaha illallah. Part of understanding La ilaha illallah is understanding Al-Asma'u wa Sifat. In the books that they use, besides the fabricated weak narrations, my tabligh brothers, you also don't follow the aqeed of Ahl-Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Which you have to learn from the reliable sources. And then of course, division and hatred. They are very nice people, but generally speaking. Very nice, very kind, unless they see that you may be in opposition, in which case different colors will come. And I've experienced that myself. I was called Wahhabi, Albani, uh, terrorist. I killed innocent people. Why? Because I told them after the Salah that Allah is above the throne. Allah is above the throne. Big fitna in the masjid. Big fitna in the masjid. The, the kind brothers earlier became enemies. Why? Simply because we differed on issue of Aqeedah. He read Fadal Sadaqat, some boy said that Allah is on his right, Allah is on his left, Allah is behind. I said, I said well, akhi, I, let me understand this. What do you mean Allah is on his right, Allah is on his left? Are you suggesting Allah is everywhere? He said, yes. 
I said, Allah says, Amin, to man fi samai, a yaksi fa bikum ul arda fa idha hiya tamur. He said, huh? Then, khalas, they realize that they're dealing with someone that they, they will not agree with them. The niceness went away. And then all kinds of names were used and everything. Say, brother, why you do this, man? Why are you dividing the ummah? Leave alone this, this jama'ah. You want to give da'wah, Habibi? Give da'wah 24-7. Give da'wah whenever possible. I'm not telling you don't knock on people's doors and call him to salah. But before salah, call him to Allah. Call him to tawheed. Make sure. If he knew Allah, you think he would, he would leave alone salah? The first thing he asks people, where is Allah? Because your aqidah is so important. Without your aqidah, nothing is acceptable. And hence, in Aqidah, the most important thing is your belief in Allah. So what do you believe in Allah? Where is Allah? This is such a foolish question. This is an innovate, this is a bidah. And this in itself is such a fitna. No Sahabi ever asked anybody anywhere, where is Allah? أَأَمِنْتُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ أَنْ يَخْسِفَ بِكُمُ الْأَرْضَ فَإِذَا هِيَ تَمُورُ أَمْ أَمِنْتُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ أَنْ يُرْسِلَ عَلَيْكُمْ حَاصِبًا فَسَتَعْلَمُونَ كَيْفَ نَذِيرُ There is only one incident of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentioned in which the Prophet asked a slave girl, where is Allah? And she pointed to the heaven. The first thing he asks people, where is Allah? Because your aqidah is so important. Without your aqidah, nothing is acceptable. And hence, in aqidah, the most important thing is your belief in Allah. So what do you believe in Allah? Where is Allah? This is such a foolish question. This is an innovate, this is a bidah. And this in itself is such a fitna. No sahabi ever asked anybody anywhere, where is Allah? The first thing he asks people, where is Allah? Because your aqidah is so important. Without your aqidah, nothing is acceptable. And hence, in aqidah, the most important thing is your belief in Allah. So what do you believe in Allah? Where is Allah? This is such a foolish question. This is an innovate, this is a bidah. And this in itself is such a fitna. No sahabi ever asked anybody anywhere, where is Allah? فَلَا أُقْسِمُ بِمَا تُبْصِرُونَ وَمَا لَا تُبْصِرُونَ إِنَّهُ لَقَوْلُ رَسُولٍ كَرِيمٍ وَمَا هُوَ بِقَوْلِ شَاعِرٍ قَلِيلًا مَا تُؤْمِنُونَ وَلَا بِقَوْلِ كَاهِنٍ قَلِيلًا مَا تَذَكَّرُونَ تنزيل من رب العالمين ولو تقول علينا بعض الأقاويل لأخذنا منه باليمين ثم لقطعنا منه الوتين فما منكم من أحد عنه حاجزين وَإِنَّهُ لَتَذْكِرَةٌ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ وَإِنَّا لَنَعْلَمُ أَنَّ مِنْكُمْ مُكَذِّبِينَ وَإِنَّهُ لَحَسْرَةٌ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ وَإِنَّهُ لَحَقُّ الْيَقِينَ فَسَبِّحْ بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ أَأَمِنْتُمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاءِ أَنْ 
يخسف بكم الأرض فإذا هي تمور أم أمنتم من في السماء أن يرسل عليكم حاصبا فستعلمون كيف نذير काफी हद तक में कुछ मिलावट थी आपकी हिंदू फिलोसफी की और इस्लाम की मिलावट थी आपने कहा कि ईश्वर यहां मौजूद है सब जगह मौजूद है और अगर मौजूद है तो दिखा सकते हैं क्या नहीं पहला चीज हम ये हिंदू फिलोसफी है कि ईश्वर सारे जगह मौजूद है कुरान मजिद में अल्लाह चाला कहते हैं कि ईश्वर अर्श पे है ईश्वर की ताकत सारी जगह मौजूद है अल्लाह हैज पावर ओवर ऑल थिंग्स अल्लाह की ताकत सारे कायनात पे है जापान में इंग्लैंड में हिंदुस्तान में वो चाहे तो कुछ भी कर सकता है चाहे तो है ये किधर भी नहीं लिखा है कुरान में ना कुरान में ना कोई भी सही हदीस में क्या ईश्वर सारे जगह मौजूद है ईश्वर अर्श पे है और आपने कहा कि ईश्वर अगर मौजूद है तो जाकिर साहब ईश्वर को दिखा सकते हैं क्या नहीं जाकिर साहेब ईश्वर को नहीं दिखा सकते क्योंकि ईश्वर फरमाते हैं अल्लाह ताला कुरान मजिद में फरमाते कि इस जिंदगी में आप उन्हें देख ही नहीं पाएंगे मूसा का जिक्र आता है कुरान मजिद में मूसा हमारे पैगंबर वो अल्लाह से दरखास्त करते को देख सकता हूं मैं आप में मानता हूं क्या आपको देख सकता हूं तो अल्लाह तला फरमाते कि उस पहाड़ को देखो उस पहाड़ को मेरे सलाम बेहोश हो जाते पहाड़ को देखे ईश्वर को देखे नहीं ईश्वर को तो कोई देख ही नहीं सकता है ईश्वर को हम अगली जिंदगी में अगर इस इम्तिहान में सफलता पाएंगे कामयाब होंगे तब जन्नत तो इंशाला अजीत में आता है कि हम अल्लाह का वज देखना चाहेंगे उसका चेहरा देखना चाहिए इस दिन इस दुनिया में नहीं देख सकते मुमकिन ही नहीं है हमारे पैगम्बर मूसा सलाम भी नहीं देख सकते थे तो आप अगर पूछेंगे कि अल्लाह मौजूद है तो दुखाओ और एक चीज मौजूद होने के लिए दिखना जरूरी नहीं है और मैं मिसाल पेश करूंगा एक मिसाल पेश करूंगा कि एक शख्स एक शख्स आके एक नेक इंसान से पूछते हैं कि ये तलवार है और मैं इस तलवार से आप पर हमला करूंगा आपका अगर ईश्वर है तो आपको बचा ले पहले दरखास्त होती वो आदमी से कि अगर ईश्वर है ईश्वर है तो आप हमला करो और मुझे बचाओ तो एक धार्मिक इंसान तो इससे यह जाहिर होता है इस मिसाल से कि जरूरी नहीं अगर मौजूद है तो वो आके बचाए क्योंकि बहुत बार ऐसा होता है कि जाहिर करना जरूरी नहीं है मिसाल के तौर पे ये हवा मौजूद है हमें दिख रही नहीं क्योंकि हवा नहीं दिखती उसका मतलब नहीं कि हवा नहीं है हवा करती उसका मतलब नहीं कि हवा मौजूद नहीं है तो ये के वो इतना को देख और जन्नत में जाएंगे तो देख فليقل أول ما تدعوهم إليه شهادة لا إله إلا الله. The first thing you should invite them to is the شهادة of لا إله إلا الله. Tell you Allah is the Creator. Allah is the We all know that. The Kufar knew that. Where is the Wahid al Uluhiya? When their big Sheikh, the one who authored some of their books, used to go at the grave site of some of the dead people and wait for Wahid and inspiration from dead people. Their their big Sheikh, I forgot his name now. The one who Zakaria Idris, Zakaria, something, Elias, Arakulha, the one who invented Jama'a Tafir, then he used to sit at the grave and cover his head and wait to receive inspiration from a dead man in the grave. This is Shirkia. This is the leader of the group. The Prophet asked a slave girl, where is Allah? And she pointed to that. This is Allah is not in all the time. This is not in the Islam of Islam. ये हिंदू की तालीम में है यार रसूल अल्लाह
Can you pray to the Prophet peace be upon him saying Ya Rasulullah? Absolutely. Wa Ya Rasulullah. Ya Rasulullah. Can you pray to the Prophet peace be upon him saying Ya Rasulullah? Absolutely.